A man who was wrongfully convicted and sentenced to life in prison is now running for mayor of New York City. Isaac Wright Jr. was sent to prison on drug charges in the early 90s. During his sentence, he studied law and overturned nearly two dozen convictions of fellow inmates, including his own. DNC talked with Wright, who is now a practicing attorney, and one of his campaign promises is tackling criminal justice reform. Many people may not know, but you were the inspiration behind the ABC drama For Life, which is based on your life story. Can you walk us through that chapter in your life and what you are now doing to help people in the criminal justice system? Well, that was a that was a very very trying time uh, uh, of my life and a very tragic time. I was uh, wrongly convicted and given a life sentence uh, for a crime I didn't commit, and I was actually given another 70 years um, on several other convictions. Uh, and so, you know, this was during a time when uh, we didn't have social media and I was just being pushed through the system and nobody cared and I actually had to represent myself. Um, I, I, I did that. Uh, fortunately for me, I had a gift uh, that I didn't even know I had until, you know, I encountered these problems. And I represent myself. I, I exonerated. I got exonerated and I got freed. And while I was actually fighting for my own freedom, um, I got a number of other uh, prisoners that were wrongly convicted. I, I got them released. And so that fight uh, evolved into my next fight, which is, you know, I'm, I'm a practicing attorney now. Uh, and I've been representing the rights of, of others uh, uh, since then as a, as a practicing attorney. Uh, and now, uh, you know, I'm evolving that into uh, becoming the next mayor of, of New York City. Uh, and so, you know, this, this mission that I've been on since, since the time that injustice befell me has just been evolving uh, into this, this, this great mechanism for justice. And, and, and so right now, uh, as, as the next New York City mayor, um, and, and I truly believe that the people are going to elect me to be that, uh, I, I look at the three things that are very, very important. Um, uh, one is uh, criminal justice reform, obviously. Uh, schools and education uh, and housing. Uh, and so as New York City's next mayor, uh, those are the three major things that I, I'm going to want to tackle first. I'm so glad, uh, Mr. Wright, that you actually brought up those three things. Uh, that was actually my next question. Where do you stand on issues of police reform, housing, and homelessness? All issues that are heavily uh, impact the black community, especially during this pandemic. Well, you know, police reform is very, very personal to me uh, because of, of what I went through. Um, but that experience uh, separates me from every candidate uh, that's running for mayor. And, and I don't think there's a candidate that could run today uh, that's, that's going to bring that experience to the table uh, like, like I will. Um, if you look at the issue that befell me, if you look at the injustice that befell me, it was because of police misconduct. Uh, it was because the police were working outside the law and, and including the prosecutors. And so if you followed my path, if you, if you researched some of the things that I went through and some of the things that I achieved, you will find that in New Jersey alone, um, there was major reforms that has occurred that had occurred because uh, because of my fight, because of my struggle, because of my drive to make changes uh, in New Jersey, along with getting my freedom. There's an entire section in the Attorney General's Office in New Jersey, uh, the Division of Law, that's called the Right Litigation. They actually named it after me. Uh, and when when they made changes and reforms, they created that section to actually oversee uh, prosecutors and, and state prosecutors and, and, and police uh, and their misconduct and to litigate it. And so I have a, a not only a vast knowledge uh, of the criminal justice system uh, and, and police um, uh, conduct uh, and in police environment in general, uh, but I've already made changes, major changes that no other candidate can, can, can vouch for. Uh, I intend to take that those changes as, as mayor of New York City and apply those changes in New York City. Um, Obviously, New York City is a big city, uh, and making changes in a state is a little bit more complex than make, making changes in a city, but at least I can hit the ground running uh, to make these changes in criminal justice, re as, as it relates to criminal justice reform in New York. Uh, when it comes down to schools, you know, New York has a, a, a another very complex issue in, it, in that uh, the school system in New York is the biggest in the country. 
Uh, and for decades, uh, there has been an inequality uh, in the quality of ed education, in safety, and in how the schools are financed. And so another mission of mine as mayor of New York City would be uh, to equalize that, to make schools financially, uh, in terms of quality of education and safety, attractive throughout the communities. From one community to the other, the, the schools should have uh, the same level of attractiveness uh, to the parents that are sending their, their kids there to get an education. I want to so ask you that, one last question because we are we're, we're, we're close on time, and, and I do apologize. Um, you, you spoke on uh, if you were elected as mayor. So if appointed, you would become the city's second black mayor. The first was the late David Dinkins, who recently passed away at 93. Now, when he was mayor, you were serving a life sentence. Um, what do you think his legacy is? And if elected, what do you want your legacy to be? If you could tell me that in about 45 seconds, I know that's, that's, that's <laughs> tight. I'd appreciate it. Uh, no problem. Well, David David Dickens uh, obviously is is a historical historical figure. I mean, he's the first black uh, mayor of New York. Uh, and during the time that that he was obviously I was away when that happened, but during the time that he was mayor, he he tackled some very serious financial problems uh, that New York had, and and that's one of his that's a part of his legacy. Um, I, I believe that some of the same issues that that uh, David Dickens encountered are still lingering today, and, and I I intend to pick up the torch and. and finish where he left off in terms of housing, uh, schools, and criminal justice reforms. Well, Mr. Wright, it was a pleasure having you on BNC. Uh, we wish you the best of luck, and we look forward to speaking with you in the future as well. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Take care.